Hey folks, in this video we're going to take a look at a new feature of Claude that is called Artifacts. And it's still in its early stages, and so I want to caveat this with like, there's a lot that could be done here, there's a lot of growth and possibility, but there's also something really interesting, something cool that can be a little spontaneous, a little creative, a little in the moment, that just has me thinking and has me excited. So the way that this works is um, artifacts are things that you can export and then allow for other people to use or to interact with or to down uh, or to um, uh, to import into their own version of Claude and play with and, and uh, build upon, right? So that's very vague if you haven't been playing around with Claude and it's uncertain and all of that and that totally makes sense so let me start off i'm going to first add some content so give me a second here i'm adding this document called nursing terms and these are just it's vocabulary for a nursing student in the first year it's about uh, 30 or 40 terms and i'm going to put in a set of directions now don't worry if you can't read all of these right now or you pause the screen i'm going to put this in the description in this in this video but just just know that what i'm doing here is telling it that i want it to create a flashcard game right to help learn this petite this particular language i'm giving it directions of what like the game the start page should look like i'm giving it some directions about how interaction should happen and then you know if they if the answer is right if the answer is wrong um and then tell it to keep track of the, the score and then after 10 rounds give them a final score and see if they want to start again right so a very low level simple game that like is still useful in the sense of if you're trying to learn something or you're trying to make something sense of something or you just want your students to to be able to interact with something essentially on the fly so that's the information, that's the document, and I'm just gonna hit, just submit it. And so that's the prompt, it's like saying, yes, I can definitely create that. I'm gonna use this thing called React. And over the, on the right here, you're gonna see it's gonna use a bunch of uh, coding. And you yourself don't really need to know that much about what's going on over here, because this is all gonna change once it's done. So this is just kind of wading through. And of course, as is likely to happen, you run into errors, right? And so it's telling you, oh, these, you know, this is the thing that happened. Uh, would you like me to explain in more detail or make any modifications? And I'm just going to say, yes, fix it. And so it's going to go through that. It's going to go through the code again. And this is the interesting thing is I don't necessarily have to know what's wrong. It's self-assessed what's wrong. And so now it's going to so go through and that same process again and try to recreate the game. And so on the left, it's telling me, I think we've done it. And so on the right, I can test it out. So I can hit begin. And of course, I ran into an issue. Uh, still not working. And I love that this is doing this while I'm recording this. Like I, I've done a version of this where it did work and uh, it didn't do this. So uh, try again. I'm going to just pause. All right. So it rebuilt it again. And an interesting, I apologize for the continued issues. Let's take a step back and create a simpler, more robust version of the game. So it's interesting what it's telling me it's doing and whether this will actually work. Um, but now, again, it gives me some additional of what it tried to do. So let's begin. Nope. Once again, we hit another error. So we're going to hit retry. We're not even going to tell it to do it again. We're going to just hit retry and see what happens this time. All right, once more, moment of moment of uh, suspense. Oop, okay. So now it is giving us a term, and so we can see the term and we can decide. Okay, do I do I know what palliative care is? Now it's giving me the actual definition, and so here I can be like, oh, like I had it right. I knew what it was. And look, it gave me the little yay. Now it's on to evidence-based practice, and I can pretend, okay, I think I know what this is, and it's telling me what it is. I'm like, oh, nope, I have it wrong. And so it tells me, maybe next time, right? And so I can go through, and I'm just going to keep on going through and just picking these as to get through the first 10 or so, because I think that's what we said, right? And, you know, it's it's all right it's you know it's not the most amazing game we've ever seen uh but it doesn't necessarily have to be and i think again as as this tool progresses as it gets more refined we're going to see that um 
some of those features will get better. So look, it now has um, the card game is over. You got five out of 10. Do you want to start again? So hit start again. This is pretty cool, pretty simple, right? Um, now, this is where it gets most interesting is I can publish it. So I'm going to hit publish. It says, you sure you want to publish? I'm going to say publish and copy the link. And so I've now copied the link. If I open up a new tab, it is going to first tell me, hey, this is user generated artifact. You should know these things. Use with discretion. Be careful. Unverified, blah, blah, blah. Absolutely makes sense. I'm going to say, that's okay. Let's show the content. Here I am. Now I have the nursing game that I can play. So I can just keep playing and go through this game. I'm not going to go through it anymore. Right now. So along the bottom, it tells me a couple different things. You know, same message that we got before. I can report it if there was something wrong with it. I can also uh, turn it into full screen mode, as you saw. And then I can remix this artifact. So I can take this into my own Claude environment. And of course, it's going to say this is going to create into a new chat, and then you can actually uh, play around with it. And of course, it requires a cloud, uh, a cloud account. So this is just this is one example of how you might use it. Other people have been using it to create visuals, to create interactive charts, uh, to do some things that you know aesthetically these aren't going to be amazing, right? I think that's going to come later on. But right now, what is really cool about them is just very simply getting up and moving with like doing data visualizations or data interactives or very simple games like you could do flashcards you could do quizzing and these can be things that are for self like uh for for knowledge checks we're not worried about like getting perfect answers or like this as as quizzing but more as helping students helping people like do some checking on on what they know uh you can also do slide decks right you could also um i could come back here and say turn the uh turn the vocabulary uh, vocabulary into a visually appealing slide deck. Now, I, I doubt it's going to actually make it visually appealing, but let's just see. That's pretty vague. That's not really helpful. Let's see what it produces. So again, it's going to do that, the, the coding over here, and then it's going to turn it into an actual visual interaction here. So again, it made it a blue heading with, with regular text, right? Again, it's not exciting, but if you are looking to very quickly turn some content into a slide deck uh, that you could then, again, publish. So here I'm going to publish it, and then I am going to... Now I could just have this as you know something that I'm running through. So if I'm running late on something or, or uh, I just want to put some things together for a conversation I want to have with folks, you can actually do that pretty quickly, pretty easily. Um, so that's Claude Artifact. I think it has a lot of potential, even though it's not necessarily visually amazing. Uh, some of our own creativity and how we imagine we like if we can describe it well in terms of the kind of interactions or the type of thing that we want, it could actually produce some interesting interactives, visuals, uh, visual visualizations and, and, and the like. So fun tool, just want to share it along. Hope you find this interesting and uh, thank you so much.